Okay, uh, welcome. So what I wanted to start is um, one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube and across to RuneScape is people doing um, like loot from X amount of monsters, completing collection logs, and going through everything with that. So what I want to do with this video is I want to go over a couple, you know, clean up my kill logs, get everything to an even number before I jump into doing, you know, large um, bosses. So for this first video, what I'm going to be doing because I got a Slayer task is I'm going to be taking Grotesque Guardians to 100 kills just to, you know, flush it out. Um, I've completely reset my loot tracker over here so at the end when I get these 19 kills with the Grotesque Guardians, uh, we'll be able to show, you know, how much that is total. Um, so far with them, I've gotten the pet, the core, the gloves, the ring, and of course the granite dust. Everyone gets that. Um, the other boss I'm going to be getting to 100 this trip is Duke, getting him to 80. And um, so far, I'll either be taking Corp to uh, 100 as well, because they're at 89, and then. Um, probably doing next mass which I've been doing for these 89 kills that you see here get that to 100 as well and uh, you know just have all the loot put together and at the end of the video you know see how much total we get just getting this first grouping of bosses uh, to that 100 kill count and I'll update after I'm done getting each boss to that number um, but I'm excited to do this I'm excited to see you know, where we get to loot-wise, and, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and, uh, thank you. Please enjoy. Now, this isn't really, uh, meant to be a video, uh, showing you how to do the bosses, but I thought it'd be a fun idea to show how I do the bosses, uh, before each kill. Um, just, it's just what works for me. I'm not somebody who can, you know, sit here and get, you know, 30 kills a trip. Uh, but I just wanted to show a kill. Uh, so what I do is I pot up with my divines, turn on my prayer, eat food. Now, to get into the grotesque guardians, we have to get the key from regular guardians. And then once you um, kill them five times, uh, the first time you come in here and summon them, there will be a big uh, like cinematic that you have to watch. Now, when you kill them about five or so times uh, that goes away and they just summon in like that so it's pretty good the first part you range uh, the boss on this part there's just your basic falling rocks and he'll turn yellow and when he does that if you're next to him you'll you'll get blown back if you hit a wall you take a lot of damage so you can just move you just want to switch your prayers you know I'm not even uh, doing like a full gear switch it's really an easy boss you know though the requirements for it are very uh, lax if you're not trying to get a crazy amount of kills now when they spawn in they'll summon these lightning pools which you want to be careful about because they show up right where you're standing when they happens so it's the range phase back for dawn she'll throw out these purple orbs just have to collect them before they uh, go off and once she's down then they fuse together and you finish the kill with dusk now when they fuse you'll be thrown into a fiery pit so you just want to click out as soon as possible because you'll take a large portion of damage from that and his attacks are on a three cycle so when he raises his hands like that it's a range attack then he'll do a melee attack and he'll switch back and forth every so often
There you go. And that is a quick, easy, grotesque guardians kill. And they have a mildly decent drop table. Nothing too crazy. Just some that throw bars. But yeah. Um, I'll let you know when I'm done getting this kill count up to 100. Currently at 82. Okay, so I've reached uh, 100 kills with the Grotesque Guardians. In those kills, I have got pretty lucky. Got um, two Rune Plate Heads, six Rune Ore, 37 Dragon Darts. Good amount of bars, adamant, myth, and gold. And then, you know, 1500 rune uh, granite dusts, which is good for cannonballs. So, around 1.07 uh, mil so far from this uh, 19 kills. Uh, not too bad. Uh, a lot of this is coming from the 291k granite ball. Don't really know why they're going up. Uh, but yeah, next up, my buddy wants to do some more next mass. We're not quite ready for small teams, um, but with next, let's pull that up. I have 11 kills until I hit 100. We might go, end up going past that, but I will definitely share with you the loot using probably the loot tracker and room light. Going over what we get with that. But yeah. Hi, okay, so with this part, I am going to be doing uh, my 20 more kills of Duke to get that up to 100. I'm going to get that pulled up for you, collection along. Duke. So far, I've only gotten the Frozen Tablet and an Ice Quartz within these 80 kills. So hopefully within the next 20 kills, I have a little bit of a you know, lucky streak. Um, my current best gear for fighting Duke is uh, you know, Serp Helm, Torture, Torso, uh, Blood Moon Tacits. They're like Bandos Tacits, but cheaper, more affordable. Dragon Boots, Ferocious Gloves. Um, I'm trying out the Warrior Ring just because um, by the time I'm done getting the potions and everything, the amount of time it takes me personally, it uh, works out that I have my spec back that... The light bearer is not really too crazy. Um, but yeah, Bandus God Sword and Arc Light with a Dragon Defender Switch. Fortunately, I can't afford that nice Soul Reaper axe yet. But hopefully, at the end of this series, maybe I'll get lucky and be able to get myself one. But yeah, I will touch back to you once I have my 20 kills and we'll go over what I got and whether or not I got lucky or not. Hi, so welcome back. So we've hit 100 Duke kills. As you can see, no new collection log items. Uh, with this, and these 20 kills, not, no crazy spoonage. We got 100, 1,191 coal, 150 dragon javelin heads, rubies, diamonds. I used a lot of the combat potions and food. So, you know, this is what's left over. Emeralds, Chaos Runes, Prayer Potions, Rune Javelin Heads, Big Bronze Bars, the Sapphires, so it's 612k, not too bad. And I got one hard clue. Let's see what we get for this. My bet's probably between 35 to 100k. Oh, 287k, not bad. So all in all, including the clue loot, this uh, kill with 900k. So next up I will be working on Corporal Beast. I have, oh, let's see where are they, I have 11 kills. So far I've gotten two spirit shields and uh, a holy elixir. So I'll be back to update you with the Corporal Beast kills uh, after I get that. You know, these are the two dream drops but I'll be happy with anything. Even just a couple solo uh, Onyx Bolt tip, uh, Onyx Bolts would be pretty nice. But yeah, 
uh, we'll check in once that's done. Okay, so I just finished the uh, <clears throat> 11 kills I need for Corporal Beast. Um, so if we go down to the collection log, unfortunately, no new collection log items within this 100 kills. Unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Um, in these kills, I've gotten a Mystic Rope Top, two bottles, some Shark, Rune. I did get a Spirit Shield, so that was pretty cool. Uh, some just straight cash, a some cosmic runes, some mall runes, of course watermelon seeds coming to six six hundred eighty nine k. Now, next boss I'm gonna be doing is the Caliphate Queen, which I have nine kills until I hit a hundred. A jar of sand, the pet, the, the head, and the pet. You know doubt I'm going to get these. I would love to get this just so when it comes time for me to do the Elite Diaries, it's you know, easier. Um, but we'll see where we are from there. And I don't know if I'm going to do it in this video. It depends on how you know, exciting Caliphate Queen is. I uh, might do uh, Commander Ziliano, but we'll see. Get that up to 100. Yeah, I'll check back in with you once I'm done with the California Queen. Okay, just checking in with you. I've finished my nine uh, California Queen kills. Bring it down here to 100. No, no new collection log slots, unfortunately. Unfortunately, no California Queen head like I was hoping. I did get a pretty good little assortment of items. Did get the insult Califite head, which is, you know typical troll drop but 424k and nine kills isn't that bad i mean it was just me killing it so you know i don't have any splits with anyone so but is it worth it i don't have the 86 agility or the elite desert diary done for the shortcut and you know the run all the way there for like one and a half to two kills a trip it's, you know, not really, and I was doing, you know, a five-way switch, trying to get as much damage as I could, but, you know, besides that, I think I am going to add one more, um, you know, Commander Ziliana is only 28 kills away, so I think the last one for this video is going to be, um, this one trying to get something besides the Saradoman sword that's the only thing I've gotten in these 72 kills this god sword shard 2 was from a bandos mass that I did um not mass but like you know did it with two of my friends Gar General Garador uh the only thing I own his collection I log I have is two bandos boots and the god sword god sword shard 2 which just came from this but yeah so I'm gonna work on uh Commander Ziliana, I'll be back as soon as I have that 100 kills. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the video so far. Okay, so this is the check in after Commander Ziliana. I messed up a little bit. I got accidentally got them to 101 kills, but I did end up getting from Growler, not from Ziliana, uh, Godsword Shard 2. And God Sword Shark 1. So, this is the inventory that I came away with, not including, you know, consumables, just because a lot of times I end up using them, or if it's potions, I won't pick it up. So, let's see what this is all worth. So the base drops is 654k, um, and then we got one hard clue. So uh, I always like to take bets on my hard clues um, to see, you know, how much it's worth. And uh, for this, I'm going to guess between 110k to 50. So let's check it out. Purple Sweets, 196k. Jeopardy Rules, I lose. I was under. 
But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I do apologize for the quality. It's my first time making a video like this. Um, but if you do like it, and if you do watch it, let me know. Um, and if so, the next video I'm going to be wanting to make is uh, either Slayer Point boosting, because I'm out of Slayer Point, so I want to go through Konar, but by doing the tutorial skipping, uh, a lot of his tasks can be bosses, so I want to go through that. And uh, another one is I want to round out my wilderness uh, boss tasks, like um, Callisto and Ardeo. I have 86 kills, so I would like to get that to 100. Um, Vedion and Calvarion is the one boss I've actually green logged. Uh, I'd like to get this to 400 kills, and then uh, I want to get my spindle kills to a thousand. And uh, you know, while working on getting the you know doing the slayer tasks, uh, skeletons, spiders, and bears are assigned a lot. Um, so work towards this is probably going to go into that anyway. But if you'd like to see that video, please let me know. And uh, thank you for bearing with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And always, as always, toodles.